Hi, everybody. Welcome to this workshop on setting your own bud personal budget for your financial future. What I want to share with you guys today are a few things that I've learned over the years since I graduated from college. Um, now, let's start with what is a budget? It's a plan for every dollar that you have from your net salary, also known as take home pay. And what that is, is your gross or your monthly full pay minus any deductions and whatever's left over is your net. So this ensures that where your money is going and it's being fully utilized to reach your financial goals. So the method I wanna to introduce to you is called the 50, 30, 20 budget. What this means is for every dollar that you make, 50 cents gets allocated to fixed expenses, 30% goes to leisure and 20% goes to savings. Now, what are some examples of these? Let's start with fixed. These are your also known as your needs. These are the things that you can't live without, such as housing, utilities, groceries, auto expenses. These are like your car payments, gas, loan payments, such as your student loans and healthcare. Leisure expenses are your wants. These are something that you desire, but you can live without. And that could be dining out, traveling, shopping for clothes, um, going to movies or concerts and streaming services or sometimes subscription services. Now the last 20% is what I consider the more important one because this is what helps you reach your financial goals. And this also helps lower your stress when you come into unexpected financial emergencies like a big health bill or an auto repair bill. And some of these categories that you can save for are personal goals. So say you have a trip coming up that you wanna save for, or you need a new computer in a few months. Um, those are examples of personal goals. Emergency fund. I like to recommend having six months pay of to, in your emergency fund to have coverage. Some people like to go a little, be more a little conservative and go up to 12 months, but I think six months is fair. Retirement is your Roth IRA your 401k, your IRA, and investments. These are your stocks, bonds, um, real estate, and also includes yourself. If you're growing knowledge or skill sets through courses and books, I would consider that savings and investments for yourself. So how do you begin? I wanna share with you the ABCs of budgeting. A is for analyze, B is for brainstorm, C is for change. So the first thing you wanna do is analyze your current situation. You wanna start with figuring out your net income. That's your take home pay. Then list out all of your expenses and then categorize them by your needs and wants. This will help you analyze your current situation of where you are spending. The second thing you wanna do is brainstorm. This is a self-reflection exercise to help determine your financial goals. So the first thing you wanna do is determine your why. Why do I wanna be financially free? Why do I want to be debt free? And once you know your why, it will help motivate yourself through budgeting process because it takes work. So once you have your why, you can then figure out what are your goals and priorities? Do you want to set up your emergency fund? Do you wanna pay off all your debt? And once you figure out your priorities, you need to think about what you need to change to reach those. And finally, change. You need to commit to the changes that you thought about into your spending habits. And sometimes that means making sacrifices in order to reach your financial goals. So one approach that I like to share with people is to think of yourself as a corporation. Um, your net income, your take home pay is equivalent of the revenue and you want to reduce your expenses. So the first thing you want to do is savings. That's your employee salaries, paying yourself first. You are the employee of your corporation. Fixed cost. These are costs to keep your corporation operating. These are your needs. And finally, leisure. That's the spend for your personal enjoyment. Now, at the end of the day, if you follow the 50, 30, 20 method, you should have zero dollars left. 
But in the case you have a negative number at the end of the month, that's something where you need to go back and evaluate your expenses to figure out what may have gone wrong and make some changes there. Now, if you have money left over, that means you might've spent less in fixed or leisure, and then you can utilize that extra money to either treat yourself or what I'd like to suggest people to do is put it back into savings, which is paying yourself. So you can accelerate your financial goals. So how do you get started with all this? There are many different ways and many free resources online. Um, one way is to use an Excel template and you can create an Excel template that fits your own situation. Or if you're not necessarily Excel savvy, you can, that's okay. You can use free templates that are out there. Um, NerdWallet has one, Vertex42 has one. And also mobile apps are, free mobile apps are also out there. Mint.com is a very popular one. Every dollar, Pocket Guard, those all connect to your bank accounts, credit cards, to, so that it houses it in all in one place. Now, if you don't want to connect your accounts, that's okay too. There's Daily Budget Original and Fudget, which are all free apps as well that you can use. Um, so there's no wrong or right way to do this because it's all based on personal preference. Some people like to track daily. Some people like to track monthly. I prefer to do it daily so that at the end of the month, it makes my review a lot easier, but that's up to you. And I use a combination of Excel and Mint. I'm also going to link below uh, to a resource that it's going to be a Word document that has websites that you can follow, books to read, um, apps, and Excel templates that reference the Nerd Wallet and the Vertex 42 one. So you can find those easily. And the last thing I want to do is leave you with some key takeaways. Number one, pay yourself first, which I've said multiple times through this presentation already, spend less money than you make, which is pretty self-explanatory, make sacrifices to reach your financial goals, and lastly, avoid lifestyle creep. It's very tempting to either buy a new car, buy new clothes, or move into a nicer place when you increase your income. But if you can increase your fixed expenses more slowly and increase your in income faster, that will end up leaving you with more profit for your company at the end of the day, which allows you to either accelerate your financial goals or give you more money to treat yourself. So this workshop was meant to inspire you to begin your budgeting process to reach your financial goals. There's lots of websites and YouTube videos to go that go more in depth. And I encourage you to stay curious and continue the learning. And thanks for watching this video.